Reynolds here, co-founder, fat trading partners, along with Bob Iaccino. Another day, another update for Tesla. Huge gap up today. The reported delivery figures gapping above. Next major cluster was this 1191 to 1196, gapping above it all the way up to 1228. Coming back, finding support just slightly below it, closing above it, and moving sideways. This is a four-hour chart. When this happens, it gaps beyond these major levels, but you have a cluster here. You can always use those as support, as it was shown today. The stock that just won't top this looks like it could be getting to an island top. Very toppy, very, very overbought. Updating all the levels now with this slight pause. So... Major support on the four hour now coming in at 1,118. That would be a gap fill, the 12.5% retracement, which we've talked about quite regularly, and the rising rotation zone and a prior GAN level. Now I'm going to move this GAN level. I just want to leave that on there so we could get the prior to show that it, we have a major cluster there so gap fill rotation zone prior again level and retracement level if we did drop through there uh 1051 is the next level let me go to the daily chart daily chart also very overextended so i said 1051 1051 to about 1070 is your support combining the four hour and daily you see here big gap so if we do break below today's low today's low 1185.60 gonna start really watching for that gap fill yeah if tesla keeps defying gravity let me see which other ones i have on here we got, i could take this one off now all right here's what we're looking at here is what we're looking at we have 126768 130759 and 14.4709. Excuse me, those are the next major levels up, but again, keep in mind, I won't put anything by this stock because it just keeps going higher. But this is not a bullish pattern, especially at the end of this super long run and how overextended it is from the daily, the 4-hour and massively the weekly rotation zone. You see, we had a little touch of the weekly rotation zone. We'll go over that tomorrow, but this is generally a blow off top versus an ignition move. This generally is not an ignition move. So you gotta keep trading with the trend, but know where your stops are in case there is a strong reversal. That's what we have for you on Tesla, and we'll talk to you everyone later. Bye for now.